right, everybody make some noise for Hayatani! And his opponent makes some noise for last year's Capcom Cup champion, Kazunoko! I hope that's not an omen. <laughs> Might be a lucky charm, we'll see. <sighs> Took it well. Took it like a champ. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, this is your champ from last year. Oh, that was, that was a cracking yeah, you know, I've got one or two on my sleeve, Logan. I do try, I do try. Hey. Haitani, however, I feel, after that last performance, the momentum is in his corner. I mean, that was just incredible. So it's going to be interesting to see how Kazunoko tries to nullify that, that rush down. I mean, hitani has been so explosive when he gets going, and that's the nature of the character, really, but Kazunoko very similar as well. Both of these guys just overcame matchups um, in top eight losers bracket. That, to be honest with you, I, you wouldn't have expected both of these guys to be here. MOV and Fudo, probably both the favorites in the two matches that they just played, uh, but yeah, they are here. Definitely, definitely. And they definitely look like they deserve to be here as well. There's nothing but solid play. Haitani making so many good reads. Kazunoko, such good pressure, such great adaptamentation, as you say. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not been as star-studded a season for these two it has, as it has been for their, their two previous victims, but... When, when it comes down to it, this day, this weekend is what really matters. It's all about coming to form. And when they, it exactly. Like These guys are bringing it when it counts, when it matters the most. So that's, what, that's what's going to count in the end. One of these guys looking to book a place versus Ricky Ortiz in loser's final. It's going to be Haitani uh, versus Kazunoko. It's going to be Nakali versus Kami. I think the button check is done. Just taking a minute to compose themselves. Look at the concentration on Kazunoko's face. Aitani, eyes closed, fully focused. What Aitani, of course, has got a very storied career in fighting games. Both of these men have incredibly storied careers um, in fighting games, you know, going back many, many years. Been around for ages, Aitani. Look at that, so relaxed. Kazunoko, a multiple game champion, and of course, the reigning Capcom Cup champion as well for Ultra Street Fighter 4. But this is a brand new game. And he's looking to make his mark, get his name on that beautiful Capcom Cup. Here we go. We're in. That's right, make some noise. Who's this semi final? Nice buffer of that fierce. And he's in the corner already. Oh, that we saw him doing that against him. Look at the stun. The stun. Is... She can't get hit. She doesn't have the health to take oh, it. Great activation, that. though. Kazunoko gets the damage and, more importantly, puts him back in the corner as well. Massive momentum change. Gets caught though by that stand. Heavy kick. Gets out of there. And that's the fear for Kazunoko. That damage can peel off of a 900 health. I mean, Nikali already so started to come from the average character. Kami, one of the lower health characters in the game, just can't deal with it. Lovely counter hit confirmed. In the corner now. Gets himself out of there with an air reset. Oh, oh my that was goodness, sick. Kazunoko! Do not jump out of my throat pressure. What a punish! It's one thing being able to react to the jump out of the throw with the DP, but he cancelled it into the super, took the round. Oh man, I don't, I don't think I told him jump back again in his life. What a punish. <laughs> Beautiful anti air from him this time though. Not phased at all by that, that round. And again, we're seeing Nikali stick out those hard buttons that Too time. The take grab into the command grab was out of range. It worked every time last game, but this time it's not there for him. That confirmed. Confirm from Kazunoko. He sent 
Right, Tony all the way to the corner here with this sequence. Meaty pressure. Stun right down. Up as well. Oh, Great oh, time oh, to reversal. He could sense that the pressure was coming. Carly got that super on there. It's opening. It's over. He's going to be able to close the round out and go 1-0 up. Uh, Kazunoko with another critical art. Closes it out. Kazunoko really making some great openings, despite some really scary play from Haitani. It's I not mean, coming off for him. few seconds of the set, Logan, we saw about 60% come off Kami's bar, which has hardly made a mistake. That could put any player off, but if anything, it just it just energized him. And I mean, that's what this game's all about. Street Fighter Five is specifically all about maintaining your cool in those moments where things don't go all your way, because you can always bring it back with the right opening and the right awareness to capitalize. Yeah, especially characters like these two. So explosive, exactly. All right, we're off again. At the craft medium, does it confirm? Looking to whiff punish that hard kick, just out of range. Oh, oh that's gonna be bad, here we go. Gets reset again, he's back yeah, dashing. Back dashing, wake up a few times. Oh man, I don't know what you try to deal with there. Execution error, oh, face out something, almost done. Oh, oh and that it. time, Magic. he went for the meat oh, again on the stun, and Haitani that time trying to go for, I think it was the back dash. Yo, I'm looking. The DP reader was in the right one again that time. Yeah, he, he's, he's got his book right now. Looking at Kazunoko right now, I mean, his eyes are so fierce. Look at that. Haitani trying to disrespect. He's not coming off. Not having any of those ground pounds. Gets the counter as well. Almost another stun. Kazunoko looking so good. Kazunoko respecting it. Oh, the stun's still there. He did that for reverse. Oh, God. He DP. <laughs> Just needs to get something going here. It's been so one sided. He's looking for that stomp into the critical art. Oh, he's almost got critical art again. Gotta be careful. Oh, that's jump in. Another, another jump in. Another jump in. He's not jumping in with a cannon strike. DP, no, he oh. can't. There's too many frames of recovery. That is wow. not an instant V trigger. The low cannon strike hit him out of it and he closed. The game out, he goes 2 0 up, and Haitani is looking at elimination from the tournament. Kazunoko, what's his name on that trophy? He is absolutely mauling him right now. He's not giving him a moment to himself. He doesn't have a chance to gather his thoughts in play. He's not even being allowed to adapt. Kazunoko looking more like the Kazunoko we expected to see when he played against him earlier. Wow. Back into the action. Here we go. Anti here with Fidesz, lovely. Overhead. Oh, that count hit confirm. Again, the confirm with the craft medium. So, oh, it's just like a run, it's a rerun. It's the same round all I've over seen again. this episode before. He's gonna have to respect the wake up. Oh, it goes for the V skill. Activate. Activate. Desperately needed to activate. It's gonna be difficult for him, but there we go. Get something. Oh, the wake up jab was so smart. And then a throw afterwards. I don't you think have to respect the round. You have to respect Kazunoko on wake up when he's got full critical art because he will let that DP into the critical art and to fly. Very difficult for time. Oh man, oh man, he's in the corner again. This is bad. This is match point. Kazunoko bad Take jump. Take that trade Itani. happily. He's still got corner control. Oh look at this pressure. Those are my switch. great block. Haitani's hypnotized right. right now. It's all Kazunoko Every pressure. Every touch stun. Nothing's He's working for him. Oh, he throws him out of V-Reverse and he's done. There's the stun. Done it. And Kazunoko has eliminated Haitani. Three straight. Six rounds straight, Logan. Haitani didn't even get a chance to get going. And look at that fist pump from Kazunoko. What a performance. This guy's on fire. Man, you've got to be wondering what Ricky Ortiz has got to be thinking now after seeing that. That was ridiculous. I mean, Haitani has been insanely good this weekend. That's the best I've seen Haitani play this weekend. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's, he's, he's looked incredible. good. He looked good against Goichi. He did great to, to take it over MOV, but that was incredible. Let's take a look at exactly what he did there. This is just going to be a barrage of pressure and damage. Let's get this. Some stuns. Oh, the jump back. He was so ready for the jump back with the DP into the crystal. To be honest with you, you should get away with replay, replaying just one of the rounds because seriously, it was the same round. It, it felt like we were watching the replay. Again, I'm not going to lie. Again. Man, the pressure was insane. He Beautiful was so good at confirms. varying up his strings. He respected the wake up at the right times. The reads were great that time. He was unfortunate that the V trigger was just too late to be able to get the, 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 the uh, anti air DP out. Yeah, his string choices were, were well spoiled, Logan. I mean, he did that so well. Look at the confidence to just do the drill there for the stun. Just Haitani had been mashing back that's on every wake up. Your reigning champion. 
you're looking to take it in a brand new game, Street Fighter V. Capcom Cup is where all the action happens, the pinnacle of the season.